Okay, so we're actually um, starting to finish up the Explorer. So what I need is a screwdriver. Uh, so the truss rod is where we want it. Um, string height. Hopefully the camera stays there. So it's got to come down. Now, obviously we're out of tune. Um, you get a lot of people saying, you know, you should, uh, set the guitar up at the 12th fret, set the guitar up at the 17th fret. Uh, personally, I'll just go at the 15th fret. It seems to be the happy medium. So I'll go that way. And don't really seem to have any issues. So, yeah. Pick up height. Way off. Actually, yeah, it'll be way off because I lowered it. I started to started doing the level and crown. Pretty good. I'll come up a little bit. Seems like every time I do a video out here, it's windy as shit. Cool. So that's pretty well roughed in. Alright, so then, or well now, <clears throat> I'm going to start the really exciting part of um, intonation. Now one thing I will say, I'm going to grab the camera. If, if you're working on an Explorer, and then you've got to glue the nut in, um, be careful of the, high, the low E string. Because of that angle that it sort of you know, takes off and it obviously comes out that way, it will just pull the nut across. So put little to no, actually I don't even really put that in, I just took it out and at least these others are fairly straight. So basically I just left that one out of the way and um, so I'd put in the others in the saddle and that kept it perfect, right where I want it. And if you look, a bit hard to see. I did roll off the corners on the nut. So there we have it. So we're getting blazes. So I'm going to start the intonation, um, which is boring as bat shit, so I'll switch the camera off and um, yeah, we'll have a look at it when it's all done. Alright, see you in the next video.